all right you guys so welcome back to my channel i'm gonna do a video today that you are you guys always request and it's a what i eat in a day and i also will be explaining two days of my workouts and some extra tips and i'm also answering some q a for my instagram so without further ado go ahead get your pen and paper and let's tune in So let's begin. The first thing I do in the morning is always take my vitamins. All right. So the first thing I do in the morning is take my vitamins. I'm going to always start off with my golly apple cider vinegar gummies. And I will post my link below for you guys to get a discount on your purchase. Love this apple cider vinegar gummy because first of all, you get the benefits of apple cider vinegar without the horrible taste. And if you have had apple cider vinegar before, you know how nasty it is. And encourage my appetite. My skin looking a little rough, y'all, because it's almost that time of the month, but usually I don't have skin problems. And plus, the mask and me sweating at the gym has also made my skin react. But number two is has skin and nail vitamins by Nature's Bounty. Yeah, when I take these, my nails literally shoot out the room. So, number two. And then, last one I take is vitamin D3. Yeah, these gummies be so good. So, I did a lot of research because I'll be like, dang, why do I gain so much water on my period? Why do my stomach blow so bad? So, I did some research. And vitamin D3 and magnesium helps with bloating, you know, water retention, trying to control that boat. So, anytime I feel like my period is getting closer, I take these vitamin D3 vitamins. But... Sometimes I don't take it just when my period comes. I just take it just in general, just so I can keep that control. So, vitamin number three. And then, this is something I use also when it's almost that time in the month. Well, I try to do it every day, but really when it's that time in the month, lemon ginger tea with probiotics because it helps control healthy digestion and bloating. So, that's my little vitamin routine, y'all. Y'all should grab all of these. And don't forget, you get a discount with my code, and I'll post that below. All right, y'all. So, I went to the store today, and that's why I'm kind of eating breakfast a little late. But I went to this store called Just Then. It's off Hillcroft, and they have, like, lots of stuff. And I also went to Trim Mile. I'll show y'all what I got in just a second, but a grill is starving. So, for my first meal, I'm going to be making my famous breakfast sandwich, y'all. This is, I call this my famous breakfast sandwich because it's so quick and it tastes amazing, okay? So, these are the ingredients we're going to be using this Nature's Own Honey Wheat Bread. And y'all know this is my favorite bread, 40 calories per slice. Egg whites per the usual. We'll have some thin sliced ham on it. Cheese, microwave bacon, and we're also going to add some greens to it, okay? So, y'all, I usually, like, pretty much... My breakfast consists of these same ingredients all the time. Like, it's always going to consist of this. It's going to be either mushrooms added or maybe sausage added. I might instead make breakfast tacos with these carbs since tortillas. Or I might just fold it up together and make it an omelet. Or I might put a Kodiak waffle with it. And those are protein waffles that taste amazing. I get the buttermilk and vanilla kind, as you can see here and this pretty much is what i do for breakfast on the daily so a lot of people be asking what do you eat pretty much i'm the type of person that i stick to the same thing i try new things and once i try new things and i really like it i stick to that and then i try new things and then i switch it up but pretty much i like to stick to the same things that i know is gonna taste good that i know fits in my calories and then every now and then i venture out to try different stuff just to switch it up to keep it spontaneous you know so i'm gonna show y'all how to make this sandwich so get ready all right step one we're gonna take this butter non-stick cooking spray, which is zero calories, baby. We don't use olive oil around here. We're gonna make sure we spray it real good, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and turn the oven on, I mean the stove on, put it on medium, and get everything weighed. So now I weigh my egg whites, boom, 5.04 ounces. And now we're gonna pour it in there. There we go. All right, now the egg whites are cooking. 
all right next step i take the bacon and my ham and i put it in the microwave and i warm it up for 10 seconds boom all right then i already got my spinning and my cheese separated so now you gotta wash the eggs because as soon as it starts getting white around the edges that's when you're gonna lay the bread on top and we're gonna warm we're gonna turn this up a little bit because your girl is hungry okay all right as you can see it's starting to get a little white and then that's when i'm going to crumble up crumble up the spinach and add it in there so it could cook down with the eggs okay so let me crumble this up because i can't do it with one hand so now as you can see the eggs are starting to cook and the spinach is going to cook down with it now in a couple of seconds it's going to be time to lay the bread on top all right now watch this flip y'all right now as you can see the eggs are almost ready so now we're going to take one slice of bread lay it this way press it down into the eggs then we're going to take the other slice lay it down press it down right next to it so now you're going to let that cook a little bit press it down into the skillet all right now once the eggs get hard around the side you're gonna take it and you're gonna flip it over i'm gonna show y'all how this looks right. it's looking good y'all so now what you want to do is scrape the sides because we finna get ready to flip it over so you want to make sure all the eggs are together so scrape it up scrape it scrape it scrape it that's how the one sometimes i can get the flip perfect but it's not always perfect y'all so don't even mind me all right, y'all, I probably won't be able to film the flip, but it's ready to get flipped. So I'll show y'all how to look after I flip it. All right, one looking. second. So any excess egg I have on the outside, I just add it on top. Slide that spinach over. All right. Now we're going to add the cheese. Boop. Put the ham on there. Boop. Add the bacon. Boop. And now... Whatever side they got the cheese on the bottom, I always like that to keep that closer to the stove. So, I got to get better at this. And now we close it, y'all. And press it down. And now once that cheese get all melted, this sandwich is ready. And so, that's my quick sandwich tutorial, y'all. It don't look the prettiest, but here it goes. All right, y'all. So, here is the finished product. I added a little jelly to it. And to add to it, I'm going to be doing this Danny Light and Fit Strawberries and Cream. Y'all, it's like a diabetic friendly one. But when I say it's so good, it's 45 calories. I literally wish they sold it in a bigger container, like a full size one. But they don't. It's the only one they have. So, yep. Yeah, this is my little sandwich tutorial. I hope y'all liked it. All right, you guys. So, I promise y'all I'll show y'all what I got from the store. So, this is what we have. So I got these boots from just then, y'all. I wanted some regular combat boots. Paid twenty dollars, cheap and affordable, which means I cannot walk in them long with my feet gonna be crying. Okay, so these are the boots. I got them in a nine. Check me out. All right, and then they also had a sale. They had a sale on these sandals, y'all. These sandals are so cute. Look at this, and I got them for three ninety nine. You cannot beat that. Feet gonna be hurting the knees too. Can't wear for a long time either, but they cute for $3.99. Alright, y'all. Next pickup got me a cute little purse, y'all. That's so crazy because I'm really having I'm really not into purses, but I've been into them lately. And this is $10.99. This is too cute. I need something real small for my little pop. And then somebody, okay? That's all I need, a little purse. And I like the gold chain, it's really cute. All right, and last one I need is just an extra. I got some fishnets. I thought these were really cute, like with a skirt or under under some ripped jeans. I've been trying to switch on my style a little bit. I got these for $5.99. And y'all, I got this from Trim All. Off Harlan in Houston, Texas, and you could go to Trim Out or just then and get a lot of cute stuff, cute two piece sets for a low price. And let me tell y'all, if you're on the weight loss journey and you're shopping, always get a size smaller. That'll give you motivation to get in it because I always buy my stuff and it be too tight. But by the time I look up two weeks, I try to hurry up and get into it because by the time I look up, I either can't fit it, it's too big, or your girl ain't been doing right and it's still too tight. But 9 times 10, it still be too big. So, yep, that's what I got from the store today.
Right, y'all. So this is the fit that I'm wearing to the gym today, leg day. I make that booty pop, and y'all. And this is my gym short fit, y'all. I really love gym short, and if you know me, I'm an all. I love working out in long sleeve crop tops, and these tights are easy but easy. So y'all, I don't know what shoes I'm wearing, but this is today's fit. All right, y'all. I just finished my homework, so now it's time for me to go pump that. Um, all right. Oh, the cute. Hey, hey, hey. All right, bye, y'all. All right, you guys. So I, I know you're not supposed to be on the phone and drive, but I just want to give y'all a moment of transparency, uh, just about my weight loss journey. And like right now, I'm at the point where I'm kind of like, you know, trying to maintain and still just, you know, grow muscles, still trying to transform my body. But a lot of people ask me, how do you stay motivated? And the answer is, it's like. I really don't know how I stay motivated. Like, this has just, just become my lifestyle. Like, before, I could say, like, when I was a freshman in college, I used to smoke so much. Like, literally, I would, I would smoke every single day. And then, eventually, I knew, like, as I got healthy, I couldn't keep, you know, it just wasn't, it didn't have as positive as effects on me as I thought it would. So, then, eventually, I stopped. And it took me a long time to just be able to stop. And now, like exercise and fitness have become my therapy you know so like now i don't feel the urge to just you know smoke to get a peace of mind and i've stopped for a minute now but like just waking up waking up getting into the habit of going to the gym every day has become like my motivation like seeing how many lives i can change how many people i can inspire to just become healthier and take control of their life inspires me it motivates me and just seeing my body change from just you know from just me just doing the basic eating right and working out just seeing it change little by little and me getting stronger and stronger it's like why would i stop now like why would i stop you know growing why would i stop glowing you know why would like i don't want to see how far my body can go how you know how how big of a transformation i could go through i've never been small in my life and I just want to see what my body can do. So that's my motivation, being able to push myself harder and harder each and every day, knowing that I can achieve anything that I put my mind to. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it makes me very emotional because just being on this journey, it took a lot of sacrifices. Like I had to like not be around my friends for some time, stay in the house, avoid going out to eat and stuff like that, just so I could get a peace of mind and get into the habit of routine. But the sacrifice was so worth it. And like now that I'm kind of at where I want to be, I'm popping that guy cute or whatever. But yeah, that was just my little moment of transparency. All right, y'all. So leg day is finished. I am wore out. Leg days take forever because you have to take your time, patient, make sure you rest, give your body, your legs enough time, warm up. It's a lot, but I rather a leg day over an arm day. And now it's time to get home because I am starving. So it's snack time now, y'all. Usually, I try to eat between two, every two to three hours, but sometimes I get too busy. But I always make sure I still make sure... I'm not repeating y'all, I'm a little tired, but I always make sure that I eat all of my calories. I don't try to, like, even if I'm too busy, even if I'm not hungry, I'll scoff it down. Just because in order to see that your calorie deficient is working, you have to intake the same amount of calories daily. So, of course, some days I might not be hungry, but I still eat something just to make sure that I'm giving my body that same amount of calories daily so that I can get the results that I want. Calories in versus calories out, y'all. That's the formula you already know if you're a regular to this channel. And if you don't know... Click this video right here at the top so that you can get informed on my daily calorie deficient. And then also, you seeing it right now about what I eat in a day. So let's hurry up and get home because I need to make my taco. Right, you guys, so now it's snack time. I was being lazy and I didn't want to cook anything. So I went and picked up a grilled chicken breast from Wendy's. Boop. And I'll show y'all how I tracked it. I just weighed it and then converted that. And you'll see that in just a second. And I really, like I said, I want, I really, really wanted a taco. So I'm going to be using these carb sense tortillas. They are 45 calories per tortilla. Because y'all know tortillas can get really, really, really high calorie. And y'all, I'm in love with bread and cheese. So that's pretty much what my eating consists of. Bread and cheese, chicken, protein. And after a leg day, it's really, really good to fuel up with protein. Okay. So, I'm, so I can make sure I get my extra protein. I'm going to add one piece of bacon to it. Because y'all know I love me some vegetables. I'm going to add some spinach to it. 
And y'all, I really don't track the spinach because it's like very, very low in calories. So it'll take, it'll take a lot of spinach for it to just be something. Cause I think it's 3.5 servings in this container and it's 20 calories per serving. So like 60 calories per serving. So it's really nothing at all. And then to add to it, I will be using this classy ranch. It's a yoga dressing, y'all. It's 45 calories, and it's by Boy House Farms, and I got this from H-E-B. Literally tastes just like ranch, maybe slightly different. Let me not guess, but, like, it's low calories, still give you that little taste. And when I want me a chicken taco, I just need a little dressing, a little flavor to make it pop. So let me warm this up, add my cheese to it, because y'all know what I'm going to do that anyways. And I'm going to get ready to eat this taco. Wait, and what I'm going to eat with it... I'm gonna top it off with a protein shake, Fair Life, y'all. Y'all know this is my go-to. And it is 150 calories with 30 grams of protein. So this is a significant amount of protein just to refill my body after killing it today with leg day. So, yep, that's my snack. So this is a finished product and I didn't even use a full serving of the yoga dressing. I use about 11 grams. And I'll show y'all how many calories that is, but don't this taco look good? And if I had some mushrooms, I would've added that too. But this is the finished product with my protein shake so yep yeah, this is my snack y'all so i have been working really really hard on making sure i'm toning my body up make sure i'm getting rid of the extra loose skin that i do have because i do have loose skin a little bit on my arms also have it on my stomach and my inner thigh for those that keep asking yes i have loose skin when you lose a significant amount of weight of course it's going to come i lost 150 pounds so that answer is yes i do have loose skin but not as much as I had before, so I'm working on it. So here is the details of my upper body day. So pretty much I train my upper body two to three times a week. And the the, the key to like transforming your back is like the bigger the back is, the slimmer the waist look. And the only thing that you have to do is just be consistent with training. Like, yes, I could post my upper body workout, but if you don't do it consistently enough and give yourself time to build that muscle, because it takes a long time to build muscle, you won't get the results. So here are the details to my upper body day, and then we're gonna move on to my leg day. Okay, so first I'll start off with cable face pulls. This is really good for the upper back, and the point is to make sure you pull your arms straight towards your temples and making sure you feel the, you know, the tightness when you go back. All right, so number two is good mornings. These exercises are also good for hamstrings and the back because as you see as I lean over, the back is beginning straight, engaging the laterals, and that's the main focus, y'all, engaging the lats. That's that, that back fat. All right, now these are straight cable pull downs. As you can see, I'm extending my arms all the way out and and I don't even know how you call it. I'm like tightening my back as I go up to the top. And the key is to use lightweight, y'all. Lightweight high reps. I'm doing about 10 to 15 of each of these exercises. Next one, we have the single arm roll. And I'm using a 20-pound kettlebell. But you could also use a lower weight. This is also good for training the back as well. So this pretty much was a back day, you guys. All right. Now we're doing the other side. And then we're going into seven press. Now, this exercise is good for targeting your tricep because as you straighten your arms out, the triceps are activated. I should have worn a muscle shirt or something so y'all could really see the muscles being activated. But this is a seven press, and I did 15 of these. All right, next, lateral pull downs. Disengage both, both sides of the back and the lats. Y'all, the gym was so packed, I wanted to use another machine, but this is all they had available. So I did 15 of these, lightweight, of course. All right, so the next thing we have is dumbbell flyways. Y'all, I love this exercise. And before I knew anything about other back exercises, I was doing these, and I used five pounds, very lightweight, and I did 15 of these. Okay, so to start my leg day, I warmed up with some side leg raises using the cable machine. And I did 10 on each side, and then I superseded it with some cable kickbacks with 10 on each side. I use a lighter weight for the side leg raises because I'm not as strong that way. But I used, I went up, I think I did 7.5 for the side leg raises and then 12.5 for the kickbacks because I don't do these often, so I like to ease into it. So these are really good glue warm-ups for a heavy leg day. So this is what I start off with, 10 and 10 of each, supersetting it, and then three rounds of that. 
So now we start with heavy squats. So the key to just growing muscle is progressive overload. So right now I have 65 pounds on each side and I only did sets of three. And as you increase the weight, you want to go smaller reps and then you just keep working your way up until you're able to just get stronger and stronger. All right, the next thing we're going to do is heavy hip thrusts. Y'all, this burn like crazy. And I have 80 pounds on each side, and I'm doing sets of six. Last exercise, well, not the last exercise. The next exercise, I'm doing reverse lunges, static reverse lunges. So I'm basically standing in the same spot, and I'm taking it down. And I have 30 pounds on each side because I'm just now learning to work my way up on these. Being patient is the key. And also taking great, you know, a nice amount of rest in between, rest in between each set. All right, the next exercise we have is barbell deadlifts. I'm really trying to slow down and work on my form with these because using the Smith machine is tends to make my back hurt so i feel like my form is not correct so i went down on my weight i'm using a 50 pound barbell and just taking my time perfecting my form last but not least i did some heavy hip the hip abduction i did three sets of 15 using 145 pounds y'all take your time push through so these are just some of the leg exercises i do on the day they're just increasing reps and just staying with the basics right, guys, so now it's dinner time and i'm gonna be doing this atb meal simple this is chicken parmesan Y'all, ATB meal samples are really good, especially if you don't have time to cook. Like right now, I'm not at my home in Austin, and my mama be tripping about me being in the kitchen, so I just cook when she not at home. So I'm just gonna be doing this little oven dinner, and it's 550 calories. It has 40 grams of, of protein, but it comes with the grated chicken breast and some pasta marinara. It is off the chain, so if y'all go to the HEB, try this one. I always get the garlic. This one, the garlic pesto salmon with potatoes, or green beans, or the garlic pesto salmon with uh, asparagus. They have different kinds that you could try. I also like the spaghetti carbonara with green beans and bacon and chicken breast. So there's a couple ones that I love to try. So I'm gonna pop this bad boy in the oven, and this is my dinner. Guys, so here's the finished product. It looks amazing. And I'm fit to dig in. Remember, HEB Meal Simple. They have plenty of meals, microwavable and oven cooked, on the go, ready to be prepared. All right, y'all. So my favorite part of the day is dessert time. And I think the best thing about being in the calorie deficient and being able to maintain that calorie deficient is making sure you incorporate your favorite dessert, sweets, snacks, foods. If that's what you want to eat, you can have it. Like, it's all about eating in moderation. So tonight, I'm going to be doing this enlightened brownies and cookie dough ice cream, y'all. It's only 100 calories per serving, and it tastes so good. And mom made some cookies last night. I didn't have no calories left for the cookies yesterday, but I have some for today. So I'm going to be eating one of these Pillsbury cookies, and I'm going to have cookies and ice cream. Ignore her in the background, y'all. But, yeah. So this is my dessert, and then I'll be done eating for today, and this will just put the icing on the cake, or should I say, on the cookie. The finished product, glory, glory, glory. Super excited, I'm finna demolish this. Y'all look how much ice cream I get for 140 calories. That's literally so much ice cream, but my cookie on top is just gonna perfect it. So yep, yeah, that concludes what I'm eating today. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Once again, I hope this video was very informative. I hope it taught you something. If you have any requests on what you would like to see before I demolish this ice cream, I just want to tell y'all, if y'all got any questions, drop them below and I will get to them when I can. And don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Y'all, I'm so ready to eat this ice cream. Peace out.